Right, welcome to another video from DIYPCRepairs.net. This time we're going to take a look at how to back up your data, your photos, your videos, your documents using Windows 7's built-in backup. Now, as well as Windows 7, what you'll need is uh, some sort of storage device to save your backups on. And external hard drives are great for this. I'm just using a little Western Digital Passport 320 gig. You can get quite a few backups on there and it's already it's already got a couple of backups on there now this PC has already been set up for backup but I'm going to roll it back show you how to change the settings and uh, so we'll dive into that right now so we're on the desktop what we want to do is go down to start and then from start if we go to control panel we'll just maximize that now you'll see that we're in category view here and under the system and security you'll see that we have a back up your computer link so if we go ahead and click that that'll take us into the backup now as I say backup's been run on this machine before um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and change the settings just so you can see how we actually set this backup up now what happened there is Windows looking for some sort of storage device to put your your backup onto and you'll see here that it has actually found my passport so what we're going to do is I'm going to select Passport, click next. Now, this is where Windows gives us a couple of options. We can either let Windows choose what to back up, which I would recommend. Um, Windows will take over everything. It will um, it will back up all the files saved in your libraries, on your desktop, uh, in in all the Windows default folders. And what it'll also do is it'll create a system image, which is a, a pure snapshot of the hard drive as it is now and that image can be restored onto the hard drive with the help of a, a boot disk which I'll cover in the next video um, but for now don't worry about the system image all we want to do is be back in photos and, and what have you up so what we're going to do is I'm going to click next here now this is a summary of what's what's going to be backed up so it's going to back up all users um, default windows folders just one word of warning here if you like me <laughs> and I don't like a lot of music, big music files on C drive, so I tend to move them off C. If you have moved any of the default folders, please make sure it's going to back them up. And you can do that by adding them to library. So what we're going to do now is we're going to click Save Settings and Exit. Right now we've changed our settings. We'll come back to the main screen. And what we what we need to do now is if we click on Backup Now. That'll start the backup process and you'll see that backup is in progress now this can take a bit of time depending on the size of your system and how many drives how big they are um, the system image can take a little bit of time as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and we'll come back to it once backup is completed what we can do while backup is running you'll see that we've got a view details button here if we click on that It'll open a, a window up and it'll actually show us what the, the system is actually backing up and what percentage we're at. So you can see now we're in the creating system image of C. So we'll just let that continue. Okay, so we can now see that the backup has completed. And we've got finished there. We can close that down. And you'll see here that we've got backup size. That's going to tell us how big a backup is. That's 5.3 gig. Um, which again, as I say, clean empty system so it's not a it's not a big a big backup. One thing to note here we've got scheduled at Sunday every Sunday at 7 pm. Again under the settings you can change that to a time that's convenient for you or turn scheduling off and just back up as and when. And that's basically it. In part two we'll take a look at how we actually retrieve files and folders from the backup if the worst should happen and you lose data. Um, until then, check out the blog at DIYPCRepairs.net. We've got loads of videos on there and walkthroughs and all sorts. And uh, until the next video, I'd like to thank you for watching.